I think a lot of people have heard me talk about this idea I have for this pyramid that has these like 30 meter long poles that can extend out and the mirror can be flat and it can also um, it can also be it can be any direction um, literally um, but it's, it's for concentrated energy okay you see how I'm reflecting it back at you right now yeah you can see it but um, the big idea is right now the Sun is located right there um, and because it's located right there it's hitting me directly it's like hitting me like directly like that and I was worried that I had to have it like this for it to be able to reflect back on this tower and generate uh, heat but I think um, and, and my, my theory the reason I wanted to do this um, is because um, normally they're all flat and you can fit more uh, you can have more surface area closer to the tower so when I reflect back on this um, see look at that it's actually it's that's like completely flat and they could all be flat um, but uh, what I'm saying is I think the idea will work the question is how much does it matter the distance between the mirror and the tower when generating heat I think you might be surprised by how much it matters but what I've also found is when the Sun's right there I can actually reflect it up and reflect it see how it's back there I don't know if you can see it because I can't see it, but you can kind of. So I can reflect it that way. And so if we have towers in between mirrors, or, or like in between pyramids, and then people are living in the pyramids and we're generating, generating electricity, isn't, it, isn't that a pretty good technical solution? That's the thing. I think so. that uh, our technical people are kind of excited about that. Um, I think uh, my understanding is the Norad people are going, I don't know what I would sell, tell you. And that's the thing. I. Um, I, I feel like I can't catch people that have are blackmailing the president if um, they won't admit it. Um, because they're, they, if there's anything they, they are, they're a bunch of lawyers and intelligence people. And what's the secret to a career in life? If you don't say it, no one knows. That's the thing. People like me that get spied on all the time, we feel like everyone knows everything about us. Um, but in reality, um, no one knows. Okay, so if we have this and we are maximizing the amount of mirrors we have by doing that i mean we can actually have it we, it doesn't have to be uh, like a regular pyramid it can actually be like um oh, like a flat wall that's that's more like that that's just the whole thing is like that as long as we have supports inside but all i'm saying is i think it would work i think it's a good idea and uh, more than anything it's a good idea because it's um a way to have peace um are we going to have um, the Russians involved if Vladimir, Vladimir Putin is um, still in charge? Maybe, but not very much. That's reality. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to tell other people they can't have a close relationship with him because the fact is the Germans are going to have to. But I don't want to have to have a close relationship with him. Do I ever want to meet Vladimir Putin? Um, if I do ever meet Vladimir Putin, because I have to for some reason. He better be sitting there waiting for me when I get there. If not, I'm going to leave if he doesn't show up on time. Um, and then he can call me. That's the thing. I don't think I ever have to actually meet him. If I have to talk to him, I'll talk to him by phone. Uh, I'm not going to give him that support. The fact of the matter, this guy invaded Crimea, and which it was, it was like, you're not allowed to invade countries and take them. He has uh, been rigging other people's elections. He um, He's an asshole. He knows it. Or, but everyone that that loves him in Russia doesn't understand it because he's a great politician and he also is really good at censorship.